the value? How do you, I don't know, you say the value of a film that's like a uh, theme park film, for example, uh, the Marvel type pictures, where, where the theaters become amusement parks. That's a different experience. And it's like, it's not even, it's a, I was saying earlier, it's not cinema, it's something else. You know, whether you go for that or not, but it is something else and they shouldn't be, we shouldn't be invaded by it. In October 2019, while promoting his latest film, The Irishman, Martin Scorsese was asked about Marvel movies in an interview with Empire magazine. He said, and I quote, I don't see them. I tried, you know, but that's not cinema. And then he continues to compare them to theme parks and whatnot. A shitstorm ensued on social media afterwards. I mean, everyone remembers, right? But let's hold on to that. Two years later, August 2021, James Gunn was promoting the Suicide Squad on an interview with Josh Horowitz on his podcast. He was then asked about his continuous defense of Marvel movies against critics like Jodie Foster and, you guessed it, Martin Scorsese. Gunn went on to criticize him, feeling that he attacked them as a way to promote his movie back then. September 2021. Denis Villeneuve, during the premiere tour for Dune, talks with an outlet called El Mundo about big budget movies. He mentions Alfonso Cuaron and Christopher Nolan as examples of great filmmakers who made blockbusters that were um, artistically relevant. The interviewer then mentions Scorsese's remarks, asking his opinion about them. And Villeneuve agrees, saying he feels like Marvel movies are cut and paste of one another. In that same month, during an interview with Deadline about House of Gucci, Ridley Scott mentions he finds superhero movies, and I quote again, fucking boring as shit. Also in the same month, Tom Holland, promoting Spider-Man No Way Home, mentions Scorsese, saying that you can ask Scorsese would you want to make a Marvel movie, but he doesn't know what it's like because he's never made one. In total, that's four times that the subject of Marvel vs Scorsese has been mentioned in press or related to. Yet here I am wondering, why the f*** are we still discussing this? It's been three years and we're still running circles on the subject. And fine, you might be there wondering, well, I haven't heard about this in a while. You're too late, who gives a shit? Let me repeat myself for a moment here. This discourse happened four times last year. And every time, it was all the same. Arguments erupt on social medias, people take sides, the whole shit show me you. Still not convinced? Well, here's a plot twist for you. Remember when I said that in September we had the Villeneuve quote and also Ridley Scott and Tom Holland? Well, that was a motherfucking lie. Mm. Scott's interview was in November and Holland's statements about Scorsese were in December. It's not five months. It was barely, like the last one was barely three months ago. So with all sincerity, do you still think this subject is old news? Because I'm making a prediction right now. We're gonna hear from this again. I don't know how or why, but if my example is illustrated something, is that it's bound to happen. <laughs> Once again, my question is, why? Why is everyone so inclined to hear what whoever has to say about Marvel, and what Marvel has to say about whoever, and what the internet has to say about each other? Like, like, God, it's exhausting. It's fucking exhausting. Like, like, am I the only one exhausted? Like, really? So, you know what? I'm taking action. I want to collaborate to this mess. This is a video for anyone that gets their blood boiling on this subject. Do you get angry at Scorsese and whoever else throws shit at Marvel? Or do you get angry at everyone who criticizes Scorsese? Like, I, I don't care. This video is for you. Because if you and me do not change this, you will never stop. I hope this doesn't come off as a rant and... Uh, fuck, you know what? Who, who, who am I kidding? This is gonna be a rant somehow. Uh, but promise I'll try to keep it civil, okay? This is a breakdown in four points on why we need to drop the Marvel vs Scorsese debate and how to do it. Starting with number one, Scorsese's remarks weren't even that bad. He never said superhero movies were garbage or shit or anything of the sort. He said they weren't cinema. And fine, you can get offended to that, I understand. But the man even took an opinion piece on the New York Times to elaborate, have you read that? Because there, he talks about his vision of cinema, what it entails, and why Marvel movies don't fall under that category for him. 
even clarifies that the idea of them not being cinema was not meant as insulting or as evidence of hatred for Marvel on his part. Also recognizing that many franchise films are made by talented people and the fact that the films themselves don't interest him is a matter of personal taste and temperament. And if you continue to read his opinion piece, you see that there is also his worry about how superhero movies have dominated the big screen, making it harder for smaller films to thrive there. His reasons against Marvel movies are personal, yes, but they aren't disingenuous. Do you have to agree with that? No! So why this triggers everyone? You know what? Don't answer. This is a rhetorical question. You wanna know why? Because we keep being fed this subject time and time again. Leading into my second point, the media needs to take a chill pill and stop asking people from both sides what they think about it. At some point, someone needs to step in and say, um, let's cut this question like forever, shall we? Because if you start to pay attention and analyze, most of these controversial statements came from questions. Scorsese talked about Marvel because he was asked to. James Gunn talked about Scorsese because he was asked to. Villeneuve talked about Marvel because, I mean, come on, you get my point by now, right? I'm not gonna hold against them to be asked the question and not be honest about it, so I can't avoid but sometimes look at the interviewers and wonder, hmm, you guys are asking these questions knowing exactly what you're gonna get, right? Now, trust me, I understand to a certain degree why they keep bringing that up. It makes for good traffic, good engagement to their platform, so of course they're gonna keep going for it. If I was a journalist, I'd probably do it as well. And this connects to my third point, actually hold on. Before I move on, I want to clarify something. If someone comes at me saying, well, you're engaging in this subject and profiting from it, yet here you are criticizing the media, isn't that hypocritical? You know what? Maybe I am. But here's the catch. I'm not the one feeding you new discourse to engage. I'm not throwing the next controversy on who's bashing Marvel and saying, uh, look at this, what do you think of this? I'm the crazy hobo screaming that you don't have to do this. I'm Kylo Ren saying, let the past die, kill it if you have to, I don't want to join the wheel, I want to break it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. promise I'll stop paraphrasing movies and TV shows, I think you guys got the memo by now. Back to what I was saying. The reason why they will keep doing this is because we, the audience, need to stop feeding this discourse. My beautiful people, listen up. Filmmakers talk their mind about Marvel and Scorsese because they are asked to. The media keeps asking them about it because they know it will bring them attention. And they get attention because we keep engaging with it. My question once again is, why exactly? Why are we getting so offended that we feel the need to keep feeding this beast? Martin Scorsese does not need your defense, he's hard at work on his next masterpiece. The Nivellenuve does not need your defense, the man is knee deep on Doom Part 2 and has 5 fucking projects lined up next. Marvel does not need your defense, like, do I really need to say why? Like, really? So, in order to change that, I'm gonna do what is called a public service. Welcome to the pretentious writer tutorial of how to engage this subject from now on. Let's create a hypothetical scenario. News breaking about filmmaker so and so giving his opinion on Marvel or Scorsese or whatever you like. You know what you do? You create your opinion about that in your head and you just let that go. Just like that. You think, I disagree with him because of X and Y and then you move on with your life. You don't post about it, you don't discuss it. Oh, okay, maybe I'm being a bit radical. If you want to comment on a separate forum or with your real life friends, that's fine as long as you don't keep engaging with this in larger platforms and putting yourself on the position of wasting your time arguing with others which will create more engagement on the subject and you see where this is going, right? But fine, let's say you're still struggling to detach yourself from the discourse, your hatred still speaks louder. I want you to remember one thing and like if, if, you, if you have to remember something about this video, this is the one and that it's okay to disagree with Scorsese or anyone else. Guys, he's not the Pope and neither are other filmmakers. Just as an example, I think Martin Scorsese is my all-time favorite filmmaker. And I disagree with him when it comes to Marvel. And you know what? That's fine! He's human, I'm human, who cares? The man is 76 years old, if he cannot speak his mind at this age, no matter how good or bad his opinions are, then when will he be able to? His contributions to cinema and passion for the medium will forever be remembered, but that does not make his words gospel. And that works both ways, guys. 
If you love Marvel, you don't need to feel offended by them when other filmmakers attack the company. They're fine and filmmakers, no matter how legendary they are, are allowed to have opinions you do not agree with. Same thing for the other side, Scorsese criticizing Marvel does not validate your hatred for the franchise. He's not the be all and all of film. You would be shocked by how many legendary directors have gone on record saying how they enjoy some really shitty movies. Does that make their opinion on film invalid now? Film is a subjective medium. You can have metrics to measure the quality of some things up to a certain degree, but past that, it's all about what you like and what you don't. And you don't need anyone to tell you to validate you on what you like and what you don't. Enjoy the movies you enjoy, fuck the rest, man. To cap this video off, here's why I'm saying all this. It's because I don't want to see my favorite directors go on a press tour and have to give their opinions on Marvel every step of the way. I want them to talk about their movies, their creative process and all in between. I also don't want to see every Marvel player having to answer what they think of Scorsese's remarks or whoever the fuck decides to bash the MCU at that point. I want them to talk about their movies as well, their experiences. That's what's interesting to me, not this cheap bullshit that's three years old and we still haven't moved on. So join me on this crusade, let's break the cycle, give this subject a rest and move on. Can we move on? Like, can, can, can we please just move on? Cool. This is the prote ah, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. Ah, uh, this is, I'm, I'm too tired and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, bye.